Hi, Mr. Sear, the shop teacher here. Well, unfortunately, it's that time of year. The snow is gone and we have to put away our snowmobile. In today's video, we're going to do just that, but in a way where as soon as the snow hits the ground in the fall, it's ready to go. So let's get ready to learn. We've got five things to accomplish today. First, we've got to select and prepare a storage location. Then we've got to change the chain case oil. Then we've got to grease all the fittings. Then we've got to stabilize the fuel. And then finally, we've got to tarp the snowmobile and make sure that it's completely covered and uh, protected from the elements. So here we go. When preparing to put our snowmobile away for the summer, we have to pick the right location. So there's lots that goes into this decision. Ideally, if you have a covered area, like a shed or a lean-to, that's good because your snowmobile is not going to have any exposure to sun or rain or any of that sort of thing. Unfortunately, I don't have that option. So I've chosen behind this shed here for a few reasons. Number one, it's far away from its it's actually hidden from the highway. So anybody driving by is not gonna see my snowmobile and get any funny ideas. Also, I've got some very large mature trees here. So in the summer, they're gonna have a nice full foliage and that's gonna provide, provide appropriate um, protection, if you will, for my snowmobile from the sun. I'm also gonna place it on some pallets so that it's off the ground away from that moisture and I'm going to cover it with the tarp so it should be really really well protected in the summer if I do all those things. To ensure that the pallets were going to lay down nice and flat I leveled off the area first with some yard tools. I also made sure that the pallets fit nicely together. Tools and materials that you'll need for the next few jobs are a small funnel, a bucket or oil pan, fuel stabilizer, brake cleaner, chain case oil, shop towels, oil resistant gasket maker, a crescent wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and not pictured here, a grease gun. Place the bucket underneath the belly pan to catch the oil. Loosen all the bolts holding the chain case cover. To avoid warping the chain case cover, loosen each bolt by half a turn before proceeding to remove them completely. Gently pull back the chain case cover to let the oil drain slowly. Once the oil is done draining, pull off the cover. Clean the oil in the belly pan with shop towels. Wipe down the chain case cover. Remove the dried gasket material from inside the chain case. Clean the inside of the chain case with brake cleaner. Reseat the chain case gasket as it was probably dislodged when you removed the cover. Put a light coat of oil on the gasket. Put a light bead of gasket maker on the inner chain case cover mounts. Put the chain case cover back into position and hold it in place. Thread all the bolts as much as you can by hand. Use a ratchet to continue tightening all the bolts. Keep in mind that the chain case body is made out of aluminum, so be careful not to strip the threads by over tightening the bolts. It is also a good practice to tighten each bolt a little bit at a time to prevent warping the chain case cover. You can use a torque wrench if you want to be precise. Refer to your maintenance manual for specifications. Loosen and remove the fill cap. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the fill plug. Place a shop towel beneath the chain case. Pour the oil slowly into the funnel. Stop pouring the oil once it has reached the fill plug level. Replace the fill cap and the fill plug and clean up the belly pan. Don't forget to check for leaks. Remove the oil pan when you are done. 
don't forget to properly dispose your oil at an approved hazardous materials depot. Regular unleaded gasoline goes bad after about a month. It's therefore important to stabilize the fuel in your snowmobile if you want to be able to start it in the fall. To achieve this, you can use a number of different products. For example, there's fuel stabilizer and seafoam. Personally, I prefer seafoam because in addition to stabilizing the fuel, it actually also cleans the carburetor. To stabilize the fuel, mix the proper amount of fuel stabilizer into the gas tank. For this ratio, refer to the bottle's label. Start your machine and let it run for about 15 minutes to let the stabilizer mix itself in with the fuel that's already in the gas tank as well as make its way to the carburetor. You might be wondering at this point why I haven't mentioned fogging oil. Well that's because personally I don't use it and that's mainly because our summer here in Canada is so short and our winter is so long so it's not really worth it because I'm going to be using the snowmobile in a few short months and it does make the snowmobile very hard to start in the fall. However, if you live in a part of North America where obviously your summer is longer and your winter is shorter, this is a viable option as it does prevent your engine from seizing. Now that we've changed the chain case oil and stabilized the fuel, we're going to place the snowmobile on the pallet. Now it's time to grease all your fittings. Make sure you use a winter grade grease and make sure you get all those hard to find fittings. All right, we've got one thing left to do. That is protect the snowmobile from the elements. For this, we're gonna need a tarp and rope. I'm mainly concerned about two things. One, sunshine, and two, tree sap from these maple trees. And this tarp and this rope should do the trick. I'm also gonna make sure that the tarp is tied down tight so that the wind, it doesn't flap in the wind, and the wind's not gonna tear it and blow it off. So there you have it. Now you know how to store your snowmobile for the summer and prepare it for the winter. I'm Mr. Sear, the shop teacher. Hope you've learned something. See you next time.